the long-awaited U.S. Spinner review is here. Let's go! Before I start, I'd like to do a big shout out to Mr. Danny Ibra. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, but if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have possession of this particular belt and his randomizer. Um, thank you again, my good sir. So I got this belt through one of the randomizers that Danny was holding. I paid $190 in total through the randomizer to win this particular belt. I want to thank Mr. Tim Vick Sr. and To The Extreme Belts for restoning and fixing this belt to make it really, really shine. So as soon as I won the belt, I went to work. I hit up Tim because he offered a service where he fixed the older US spinner and made it look damn near brand new again. I reached out to him and I asked him how much for that service. He quoted me $650. I had to think about that because that's a lot of money. It took me two days to think about it, made a deal, told him, yeah, I'll, I'll take that service for $650. He gave me a timeline of 60 days to complete the belt to be restoned and fixed. I got the belt back on the 75th or 73rd day, I forget. But it took a little bit longer because his supplier was having issues with low supplies of stones that he needed for this belt to be fixed, which was fine. I, I didn't knock him on that. And I understood because this was during COVID time. Everything Tim did was by hand. He didn't have a machine or anything. He just did everything with both of his hands, which is very impressive. So this is the work that he did on it. But you could tell he really did a, an amazing job with the stonework. He really knocked it out of the park. Tim really did his thing on this. And the only thing that he couldn't fix, unfortunately, because I believe if he had a machine, he would have just cleaned it right up, would be this side plate right here. And it had a little issue right there on the top of the red dot where the red stripes are, is that that's about it but the belt came like that which was the only flaw really on the belt when i got it and i could live with that honestly and this is more of a side plate work also one stone fell when i did get it he padded this very very great with bubble wrap and everything was double padded it wasn't his fault. I'm thinking it was my fault because I was very, very, very excited to get this belt back from him. I reached out to Tim. I told him one of the stones fell. He felt bad and I told him it wasn't his fault. And he just told me what glue to get and what to do for, for the process. And now the belt is perfect. No stones are loose. No stones are missing or anything. Overall, my experience with Tim, 10 out of 10 because he guided me throughout the whole process. I asked him dumb questions and he answered it. Me being new in the hobby at all, like he was very patient with me. Also, he gave me updates gradually on when the belt was being done. He told me, yo, I'm doing the edges uh, right now for your belt. Yo, I'm doing this side plate right now for your belt. Yo, I'm doing this, the main plate for your belt. He, he did something very special also, which he didn't have to do, which was he had a cleaner main plate because the original main plate on this, it wasn't spinning freely like this. He fixed it by swapping it out and made mines spin very freely and yeah man he did a really great job so 10 out of 10 you guys should go check out tim vick senior over at two the extreme belts i'll put their facebook info below here's more of a close-up look of tim vick's work his stones work that is so there's one side play right there star one like you see that thing shine and here's the american flag one yeah and the main plate Thing is amazing he really did it. he really did a fantastic job on this There's more. yeah this belt is really amazing now let's talk about the leather 
So the leather's from Paul Martin and it's a send out strap. So one of the things I did along with hitting up Tim Vick, as soon as I won the belt, I hit up also Paul Martin and I asked him how long does it take for the send out strap to be fixed because on his website it was four to eight and I asked him is it really four to eight or is it longer? He told me with business being busy, it's gonna be eight to 12, eight to 12 weeks that is. So Paul did a fantastic job on this and I'll just show you guys the details that he did on the strap the three layers of stitching the red white and blue also the stamp on the stars he really did a fantastic job on this look at the details on that snap box it's perfect the stamp of approval mr crafted by paul martin yeah and this is by far my favorite leather in my collection i understand why people consider paul martin the best uh, belt leather guy in the world i guess that's a thing if that's a thing but I get it because this leather is amazing like again I'll give you guys more detail on that like he really he really did he, he wow I'm speechless right now because I I get it like I totally get it yeah. damn <laughs> and this is how the belt looks over the shoulder And I'll show you guys how this belt looks folded. There you go. There. A next pose called the Santiago pose. Mind you, this pose is very difficult. And like the old WWE DVDs, please don't try this at home. Shout out to Mr. Chris Santiago. Now I'm about to show you guys the world famous Santiago pose. This is a very dangerous pose. You need to be a five degree black belt just to do this pose. Here we go. There it is, the Santiago pose at all of its glory. And again, please don't try this at home. Shout out to Chris Santiago for this pose, for the inspiration of this pose. And shout out to Steven Hammer also, because I saw one of his videos. I'm like, ah, right, if he can do it, I can do it. Now this is how the belt looks around the waist. Um, for, so for those who are curious about Paul Martin's leather, um, this is how it is like flexibility wise. Um, it just came out, it came like this right out of the box. Um, yeah, it's really great. And more of the flexibility. I just wanna say thank you for all the support you guys showed me and for everything for this channel. Like, I can't believe that I have 70 subscribers. Like for people, that's like a small amount, but for me, that's amazing. Like, I can't believe people actually subscribe to what i'm doing like what i'm doing also and stay tuned i have more belts uh to review i have two new belts that just came in um thank you guys again for being patient uh, this video you have no idea what i have to go through just to film this this is like my fourth reshoot of this video because i didn't like the first one i didn't like the second one the third one i like but my computer couldn't handle the space so i had to so everything got deleted for some reason and now this is my fourth reshoot and uh, I hope it turns out uh, great. Um, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, thank you guys for the support that you guys have showed me. Um, thank you guys for every all the kind words. This, the belt, the belt thing is my getaway from all the negativity that's going on in the world right now. And this videography also is one of those cases where it's my way of detox from the stress and anxiety of the world and of myself also uh i'm speechless thank you guys for the support uh keep watching stay tuned uh, remember to like share and subscribe thank you guys peace